Hello acne warriors and welcome back. Today we are talking about the connection between your gut health and your acne. If you've tried all the different skincare products and medications out there and you're still getting acne, maybe it's time to look elsewhere. You know, our digestive system could be the reason why your body is suffering from inflammation. And today let's find out why and how you can take care of that. Hi, my name is Yurai and I'm the skincare stan. I've suffered from acne for over 10 years. I've learned a lot on my journey when it comes to skincare. Sometimes a great skincare product can be a lifesaver, but other times it's our lifestyle choices that can be the key thing standing between us and clear skin. Now more than ever, people of all ages are suffering from the physical and emotional effects of unpredictable acne. There are great ways of dealing with acne and with the help of quality skincare and perhaps Perhaps a good prescription medicine from your dermatologist, one can get great results. However, sometimes that's sadly still not enough. Acne is still kind of a mystery to the science community and we are learning new things every day about how acne are triggered and why certain people get them and others don't. Now, we know genetics play a major role in this and that we should never blame ourselves for our acne. However, sometimes we can hack our bodies to find out what are those genetic triggers that make our bodies flare up and ultimately make our skin break out. One of those things is definitely looking into the food we are eating and figuring out our digestive system to help keep inflammation down. Advances in the research of the gut microbiome, the collective name for the trillions of microbes or bacteria that reside in your gut, have helped scientists to examine the link between gut health and acne more closely than ever before. This intimate relationship between your skin, your body's largest organ, and the microbes that live in your gut are called the skin gut axis. Often people with gastrointestinal illnesses such as inflammatory bowel disease have corresponding skin issues, which shows how closely linked gut health and skin health really are. And while this relationship certainly works both ways, the gut microbiome is the key regulator. You see, gut microbes help to maintain the intestinal barrier, which limits bacterial byproducts, undigested proteins, and toxins from entering your blood circulation and potentially reaching the skin. This can lead to inflammation and the release of inflammatory messengers called cytokines, which can contribute to the development of acne. This development also can damage the lining of the gut, allowing the bacteria byproducts to pass from the gut through to the bloodstream into our skin, where it can locally affect skin health, enabling the growth of bacteria that can trigger acne. Acne occurs when excess skin cells line the inside of a hair follicle blocking sebum from being excreted. This allows bacteria to grow, eliciting an inflammatory response from your body's immune system. So interestingly, approximately 70% of your body's immune cells reside in the gut, where they are influenced by the gut microbiome. So I guess you can see where the connection comes from. So now that we know the sciencey part, we know that our gut could be the culprit behind our breakouts, right? So. The question is, how can we make it stop? The first and the most important part is figuring out your food triggers. When it comes to pinpointing those triggers, it really comes down to trial and error. You should be mindful about your body and the way your gut reacts after eating certain foods. If, for example, after eating certain ingredients, you experience bloating, flatulence, or funny sounds coming out of your gut area, it could mean your gut is hypersensitive to that ingredient. What's important to remember is that this trial and error method could actually take a while because the reaction on our skin is not instant. Once you find an ingredient that you suspect isn't agreeing with your digestive system, try removing the said ingredient for at least three to four weeks 
and seeing if your acne and inflammation goes down. Patience is key here and this is definitely a journey that you will take getting to meet your own body. However, it is a journey worth taking because it could have many long-term benefits, not only for your skin, but also for your overall health. You see, you can help yourself and speed up the process of finding out the truth about the health of your gut and digestive system by asking yourself these three big questions. Number one. Do I break out after eating certain foods such as sugar, dairy, or meat? Number two, do I experience stomach aches or weird stomach noises after eating certain foods? Do I pass gas a lot? It's honestly a serious question. Do you have bad flatulence that smells? Number three, how are your experiences in the toilet? I know this is a very personal topic, but when you go to the bathroom, do you have regular, smooth, and natural stool movements? If not, something might be wrong with your digestive system, which is likely to contribute to your acne. Also, here's an important tip. If you're on antibiotics for too long or have taken too many courses, the antibiotics themselves may have killed off too many of your good gut bacteria. This is why you can get worse acne after course of antibiotics. You need your gut flora for digesting your food. If you have an imbalanced gut flora, it can lead to a variety of health issues, including acne. Low stomach acid can also cause bad bacteria to take over the good bacteria in your stomach and might be a cause for dysbiosis. In this case, uh, probiotics are supplements that have beneficial bacteria in them and you should definitely start taking them. But supplements are not the only way to get your probiotics. Eating foods naturally high in healthy probiotics can also be a great way to regulate your gut flora. This includes picked vegetables, kombucha, kefir, raw vegetables, as well as raw garlic. Now, let's talk food, because supplementing with pre and probiotics alone isn't enough. Focusing on eating a whole foods diet, high in brightly colored fruits and vegetables, healthy sources of fats, and good quality protein is super important. Low glycemic index diets have also shown improvements in acne systems, so avoid sugary and processed foods and refined carbohydrates. Fill your fridge with foods high in antioxidants, including vitamin C and E, omega-3 fatty acids, retinoids or vitamin A, and trace minerals such as zinc. Oily fish such as salmon, mackerel, and herring are excellent sources of omega-3 fatty acids, which play a significant role in soothing inflammatory skin conditions. If you're vegan or vegetarian, opt for walnuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, and soybeans. Top up on anti-inflammatory spices such as turmeric, black pepper, ginger, cinnamon, garlic, and cayenne. Being largely plant-based wherever possible is also a great approach when it comes to maximizing the levels of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory chemicals in foods. Now that we know what supplements and foods are generally positive for our gut health and flora, what about those that are generally not recommended? Remember, there are no absolutes, and because our bodies are so different, we have different kind of foods that we like and that our body likes. However, there are some common culprits. For example, animal-based products, particularly dairy, have been shown to trigger acne as well as foods that are high in processed fats and sugars. This is due to the formation of advanced glycation end products. The sugars bind to structural proteins in the skin and other tissues. These are thought to activate the immune system, driving inflammation up and causing acne. Similarly, foods that have been cooked with dry heating processes, such as frying or grilling, are generally high in reactive molecules and AGEs. So, cooking techniques such as steaming are thought to be much better. But also, I want to remind you, 
that you should talk to your doctor before making any big dietary changes. Your doctor knows exactly what he's doing. He knows your entire medical background and they will help you make a healthy decision that is right for you and your body. As I said, there are no absolutes. But before we go, one last thing, one most important thing. Acne is complex and they are not your fault. I want to remind you that this is just a tiny piece of the puzzle that is acne. Just because you eat dairy or meats or any kind of food that we mentioned doesn't mean it's your fault that you have acne. You can have the healthiest diet in the world and still get acne. However, if you do have a trigger that is connected to your gut health, it's good to detect and be mindful of that trigger and how it connects to the levels of inflammation in your body. Please keep in mind that our gut health is also directly connected to the stress levels we experience in our everyday life. So remember to not beat yourself up over your lifestyle choices too much. Our lives are fast and stressful and nobody can optimize their lifestyle choices to perfection every single day. When you have time and energy for that self-care moment, that is beautiful. Get to know your body at your own time and remember, we are on this acne journey together. You are not alone. Until next time, all the best, Yure.